Well, hello, hello everyone. Thank you for watching. If you're a Christian conservative that stands for God, His Word, the Ten Commandments, prayer, and the U.S. Constitution, please unite with me and help me restore our Christian heritage and foundation today. Uh, I'm going to read you a powerful vision uh, that George, of George Washington's that he had at Valley Forge. Don't miss it. How God knew then what we'll be facing as a nation right now. Go call your friends and tell them Faye is on. It's time once again to pull down some strongholds. I'm Faye Hardin and this is Insight USA with Faye Hardin, author, teacher, prayer warrior, merging prayer and patriotism, founder of the National Prayer Network Intercessors with Insight and the much sought after weekly prayer bulletin Faye's Facts. Faye is a Christian activist dedicated to informing, educating, and empowering Christians to not only pray for America, but to understand the issues of the day, threatening our religious freedoms, families, finances, national security, natural energy, and senior citizens. Well, before we get to our prayer point of the week, I want to just give another reminder of what is going on in Texas and New Mexico uh, concerning our oil fields, the Department of Interior is at it again, their Gestapo tactics and, and agents that they're sending to Texas and New Mexico to threaten uh, the people there who own land and own oil fields or leases to them, that they're going to shut them down because they need to turn that land over um, to a prairie chicken. So the chicken needs a habitat. So just you know, the people going to 8 to $10 a gallon for oil, it's no problem for them. I mean, you know, we're just the American people. We deserve to be paying $8 a gallon for gas. What you need to do is you need to contact the Department of Interior, and you can get this information on my website, and you need to let them know that the prairie chicken is not endangered, and they're not taking another inch of our oil-producing lands for the bogus, uh, charges that the environmentalist organizations make just to settle lawsuits and billions of dollars. If you want to know that some of these lawsuits, go to my website and, and uh, you can see what we've paid out. Also, um, they're not, it's not enough uh, to say we're sequester and to shut the White House doors and schools don't have what they need because the Department of Education is a bloated uh, a, a federal agency that should be abolished. Education should be controlled by the states. But, you know, when you have a centralized government and you've got the radicals and the feminists and the media all coming out of the same Woodstock mud, then that's what we get. There, there is no federal education in this country. And I'm asking you to join me to begin to expose what's going on in these agencies, especially what is going on uh, through the Department of Interior, the EPA, and um, other in, uh, other agencies that are confiscating land. A third of America's land has been taken over by the federal government. In fact, I got a, a, a press release I had last year. The Washington, D.C., February 15, 2012, Obama's FY uh, 2013 budget wants another $450 million to buy up land to federalize it. How, how, how long? $808 million he gave to the EPA in Florida just before uh, his, uh, uh, just before the election into an $808 million. People here don't have a clue. Uh, maybe that was to pay Ruby off or get, uh, Rubio to give him a slush fund so he could take out and hand the illegals uh, to Obama on a silver platter uh, overriding the need for jobs uh, in our nation by veterans, by kids coming out of school by uh, 50 million people who have to depend on government for their food stamps and 16 million actively looking for work. The chicken, uh, in another newspaper clipping I got from one of my intercessors uh, in New Mexico, says federal involvement could cost farmers more to graze cattle. You just can't imagine everything that's going on. IRS is just a tip of what is taking place. And the reason all of this is happening is because our Congress does not do its job, has not. They work, uh, they work uh, three days a week, uh, nine months out of the year, and, and they live the lifestyle of the rich and famous, and their oversight is lacking. The reason we've got 20 million illegals in this country 
and they've been able to stay in this country is because the Congress did not do its job. We pay them to oversee federal agencies and, the, and all uh, executive branches, and they have not done it. It's always we've got another crisis, another crisis. We need congressional reform. We do not need immigration reform. We need tax reform, and we need government reform to loose our land, loose our oil, and to loose our jobs before anything else takes place in this country. I need your support. You need to go on my website and say, Faye, I'm going to join you in your quest to kill the bill of immigration. It's a disgrace what they've actually put in that bill. So you need to know, though, before they pass it, you'll be shocked at what has taken place. And uh, I want you to know, and I want you to know who to contact and to let them know that we will not tolerate it. So before uh, we're going to go now to our prayer point of the week, it was awesome. Uh, you are responding. We are building a movement of Christians on behalf of Christians in this country without apology. And we're going to send that message loud and clear to the elected leaders and the Republican Party and the Democrat Party. We're going to come out Christians United, and the parties are not going to know uh, which one. We're going to go for the man, not the party, so we can get this nation back on track the way the founders intended it to be. So let's go to Martin Van Buren's prayer. If you still got the victory, if you hadn't, just hold on. We'll have it before the program's over. But president, he was president in 1836. His inaugural address prayer, uh, and his inaugural address was a prayer on March the 4th, 1837. I want you to, to pray with me as I pray with him, and let's get people like him back in control of our country. He said, I only look to the gracious protection of the divine being whose strengthening support I humbly solicit, and whom I fervently pray to. Look down upon us all. May it be a month uh, of, uh, may it be a, a mouth of the dispensations of his providence to bless our beloved country with honors and length of our days. May her ways be pleasantness and all her paths peace. Can you believe a president has that kind of a prayer life? Today, they pray to all the gods. We don't want to have just Christian funerals. We want Muslims to be at the funerals of our dead. They, the imams are conducting funerals of our, our, our military. Imams. Can you imagine? It would have never happened. It would have never happened in, with our founding fathers. Which God do you pray for? They didn't have one uh, question about the God they prayed to. So we need to rebuild the walls of righteousness in our nation. And we need to understand its Christian foundation. So I want you to go to how, how much do you really know today? Question you again. What do you know about your Constitution? Today we're going to bring back the Declaration of Independence. And I want you to call me, answer the question, or email me. And for everyone that answers it, no matter whether you're right or wrong, and would like a pocket-sized U.S. Constitution, we want to send it to you. So we just want you to know what it really says. And it is awesome when you begin to read what we've received as an inheritance that we need to demand its compliance uh, of everyone who vows to uphold it. We've got the ball in our court if we can just realize it. The Declaration of Independence, this is what a true or false. Prudence indeed will dictate that government long established should not be changed for light and transient causes, and according, all experience has shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer, while evil, evils are sufferable, than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object evidence, a design to reduce them under absolute deposition, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and provide new government for their future security. This is the Declaration of Independence. I've never seen so many abuses 
of federal employees, elected leaders. So many lies that go unthwarted. The, uh, the immigration bill that is being projected is nothing. There's not a word of truth in all of the ads and all of the projections that is out there. I have absolutely taken all of the ads, the content, and proved that it's nothing but propaganda and to get people to think that we are going to buy a pig in the poke when, when it's really cobras and pythons. Don't do it. Go to my website, give me a call, get the information and the contacts that you need to be calling because they've assumed that if you're conservative, you're irrelevant. We've got the moderate Muslims and the moderate Hispanics and they're going to elect the next president and we're going to get them and they're going to elect us and it doesn't matter which party. So we don't need the right wing conservatives. We don't need a platform that elevates God, his word, uh, uh, morals, uh, uh, family life that's decent and in order, that does not want to pay for other people's abortions and condoms we're irrelevant. We're not going to let them, we're going to let people know we're not irrelevant. I need you to join us immediately so you will know how to make contacts, what to say, and let our voice be heard. It's the Christians that need to come out of the shadows. It's the pastors that need to stand up. It's the Christian broadcasters that need to understand that faith without works is dead. So I'm, I'm challenging you today. But if your leader chooses to be, become um, a progressive Christian, as did the Christians in Germany under Hitler, just be progressive. Don't, don't stand for anything. Don't make waves. Then you need to come out from among them, among them. And you need to stand up because God will give you a leader that serves his purpose. The quote of the day is Thomas Jefferson. In questions of power, then let no more be heard of confidence in man, but bind him down from mischief of the chains of the Constitution. He said, when those get too high and mighty, like the IRS, like the White House Council, like the State Department, like the Justice Department, he said to use the Constitution to bind all of what they're doing. We don't have but a few people in Congress that really uphold the Constitution. I'm sorry I don't have one with me, but we only have a few. T uh, Senator Ted Cruz is one of the Constitution banner bearers in our Senate, and we need to let him know we're appreciating him because he is a constitutional attorney. He's qualified to govern our country and, and the Senate, and he is receiving a lot of flack because he won't go along to get along. The Constitution, we need to bind him to it, and we're going to start doing that. I'm, I'm going to be in Lubbock, Texas on June the 13th for a powerful rally, 10 to 1, at the Science Spectrum. I want you to come. But before we go to, our, to uh, the Watchman's Commentary, I want you to watch this. Join Faye on Facebook with weekly updates, contests, and content you can't get from anyone else. Become a fan of Faye USA at facebook.com forward slash Fay USA. Connect with Fay. Get informed about daily breaches of the U.S. Constitution. Go to facebook.com forward slash Fay USA and like the page to make sure you stay plugged into the content you can only get from Fay. Well, I, I sure do appreciate all the support we're getting, but we need much more in order to do what God's called us to do. So will you today just say, Faye, I'm going to join you. I know a lot of people are thinking about it. I need several people to write a check for $1,000 to help us catch up. We, uh, our funds were really low the last month, and I don't want to get behind. I want to stay in advance so we can continue to advance this work. 
So if, if you love America, if you're patriotic and you're a prayer warrior, become a partner and, and join us and strengthen our prayer network. Today I'm going to read just excerpts of George Washington's vision because in our Watchman's Commentary, we use Isaiah 62, 6, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. We have the most awesome future according to George Washington, and I believe a lot of his vision is being fulfilled uh, right now in our day. And I, I'm not going to read it all because it takes a whole program to do it, but I'm going to read enough that you can order it if you get our package of visions that comes with that. If um, you uh, just want George Washington's vision, you can just make a donation to cover the cost, mail it to me, and we'll get it to you so you can understand what God spoke to us at the beginning of our nation. And he said um, that, he said, uh, it, it, it's not, I, I don't know why we haven't, we haven't known it before, but he said, I do not know whether it is owing to the anxiety of my mind or, or what. But this afternoon, as I was sitting at this table, engaging in preparing the dispatch, something in the apartment seemed to disturb me. Looking up, I behold, standing opposite to me, a singular beautiful being. So astonished was I, for I had given strict orders not to be disturbed, that it was, it, it was some moments before I found language to inquire the cause of the visit. A third and even a fourth time did I repeat my question, but received no answer from my mysterious visitor except a slight raising of the eyes. By this time, I felt strange sensations spreading through me. I would have risen, but the riveted gaze of being before uh, uh, the, re the riveted gaze of the being before me rendered uh, violation, uh, volition impossible. I tried once more to speak. My tongue became useless as if paralyzed. A new influence, mysterious, potent, irresistible, took possession of me and all I could do was gaze steadily, vacantly, at my unknown visitor. Gradually, the surrounding atmosphere seemed to fill with sensations, grew luminous. Everything about me seemed to ratify the mysterious visitor, also becoming more airy, yet more distinct to my sight than before. I began to feel as one dying, rather to experience the sensations I but sometimes imagined accompanying death. I did not think, I did not reason, I did not move. All were like impossible, and I was only conscious of gazing fixedly, vacantly, upon my companion. Presently, I heard a voice saying, Son of the Republic, look here. God gave President Washington three points in this vision. It definitely includes us. So, I want you to say, Faye, I want to know what it is. You can become a partner or just make a donation, but help us keep this vital message on the air and include daily television soon. Faye encourages you to subscribe to her weekly prayer bulletin, Faye's Facts. In it, Faye addresses issues that are not discussed on the Insight broadcast, such as current events, powerful Bible studies, and most important, the prayer points that are prayed weekly by thousands of intercessors with insight, churches, prayer ministries, and Sunday school classes across America. Faye's Facts is dedicated to sighing and crying for the conditions of our land, as described in Ezekiel chapter 9. For a $39 donation, you will receive a six-month subscription. To subscribe, call today. 1-877-290-0088 or subscribe online at www.insightusa.us Well, I'm Faye Harding and I just want to take a moment to thank all of my new partners and my new prayer partners and those that are becoming monthly partners with our ministry. It has taken so much just to stay on the air on the stations and networks that we are now on. We've been offered daily television on several networks across the country and some full power stations in order to expand our reach and get the truth to Christians from a Christian on a Christian perspective we must get more partners I just know that God is moving by His Spirit and we're going to see America delivered 
I'm inviting you to become a partner with me and sow in to this land because in Genesis, God's word says, when you sow into the land the same year, you'll reach a hundredfold. Our partners are being blessed. They're being healed. God is using them in a strategic way as they stand with the heart of God for this country. So join me as we unite Christian conservatives for the U.S. Constitution. And I just want you to know that somebody cares for you. Our, our television ministry is not to see how much money we can collect, how, how big we can get, how famous we can get, but it's to be a, a, literally a witness to you, to be a helping hand to you. We're going to the down and out. We're going into the inner cities. We're taking our message to those that never thought God could ever help them, and they've tried everything, even the feminists. They've tried everything, but nothing is working for them. So I want you to know that there is a God and there's somebody that has enough faith to believe that he can be right there with you no matter what kind of valley you're walking in right now. So I want you to rise in Jesus' name and let the Lord use you in the deepest valley and also on the highest mountaintop. For my new monthly partners, I want to give you something that's going to enlighten you and make you a more informed uh, American, a more informed Christian, a more informed intercessor. Uh, I found... Uh, a vision of George Washington at Valley Forge. It is unprecedented what God showed this man uh, at, at the onset of our nation. Also, I had Wally Shabbat uh, speak at our Lubbock uh, conference last year, and his message is unbelievable. It says, America will be saved. God will judge the Middle East. Walid is a, uh, is a born-again Palestinian that literally found Christ and knows more about Bible prophecy than anyone I've ever heard. His message refutes most of the modern day prophets that we know today. America will be saved. And then the beginning of my ministry for America. God took me out of a, a ministry to Israel on behalf of Israel world. Uh, actually, I was traveling all over the world. And he gave me a vision of women coming on the scene. I want you to see the vision that God gave me that changed the direction of my life that's brought us to the place that we are now. Vision is what you need. Understanding the will of God is so important. So for anyone who will, who will uh, be a monthly partner that we can add uh, every month, we can charge it to your credit card or debit card, I want to send you these visions. If you cannot be a monthly partner, you say, if I'd like to be, but I just can't, then for a one-time gift of $35, I will also send you my packet on visions. You will, you will understand then my passion and the faith that I have that we can call America back to God and rebuild our Christian foundation. I look forward to hearing from you. Write or call today. Faye is calling on 3,000 partners to join in her campaign to tear down the strongholds. 
the strongholds held over this nation which were once blessed and protected by God. God's word says in Psalm 33, 12, Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. Do you believe that millions of people who enter this nation illegally should be given benefits as a reward for breaking our laws while our elected leaders disregard to enforce those same laws? Do you believe that it's God's will that 23 million people are unable to find work? Do you believe that it's God's will that companies of our nations be destroyed due to regulations and laws that are unconstitutional? Do you believe that America is jobless because there is no other way for us to go? Do you believe that it's God's will that Christians are now forced by law to help abort 55 million babies? Do you believe that we're in a spiritual battle and the devourer runs rampant? Faye and her friends believe that we should protect ourselves from politicians who refuse to uphold the Constitution. It's time to call on God and understand that His Word is our way out of bondage. America is a mission field and Faye is dedicated to it. Psalm 9416 asks, Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Won't you stand and act today? You can join Faye right now in one of two ways. You can become a covenant partner for America to rebuild its foundation Plant a $1,000 seed to help build the Capitol Hill Lighthouse with insight. Bring the power of the Pentecost to the nation's capital. Take this television ministry to every city and state in this nation live from Washington, D.C. Or become one of 3,000 Covenant Insight partners with a monthly pledge of $20 or more. Lighthouse Partners received the amazing Founder's Bible from signature historian David Barton, along with the much sought after Phase Facts, a prayer bulletin that leads thousands of intercessors weekly to pray specifically as united, focused, and informed prayer warriors for America's deliverance. Partners also will receive a free pocket-sized constitution and a free bumper sticker Yeshua is Lord over America. Become a covenant partner with a pledge of $20 or more and receive your free pocket-sized constitution, free bumper sticker, and weekly Faye's facts, along with an Insight USA pin that Faye has prayed over to give you wisdom with financial matters as you write your checks. Please send your pledge to Insight USA P.O. Box 917689, Longwood, Florida, 32791. That's Insight USA, P.O. Box 917689, Longwood, Florida, 32791.